Hi, my name is Jeff August, lead colorist at Look Labs, and in today's tutorial, we're really focusing towards the editors. So let's start by opening up SpeedGrade here. We've got SpeedGrade. I'm going to click up on one of my multiple tabs, and uh, I'll click on my tab for RSCP. And if you watched my last demo, we had created a timeline. We'd imported an EDL. We had informed the EDL. And we set up our speed grade the way we like it. So this tutorial will start by just opening the project that we created. So there is our project. A couple things I'm going to check on. I always like having my playhead on master, so that means it stays in the kind of in the middle of the screen, and the the, the media passes underneath it. And last thing I'll do here is hit D, and D brings up my desktop. All right, so. We have a timeline here. Now we need to start creating some grading layers. If we go to the timeline button and then set up, we've got this little button over here that which is extract grading layers. So if I click on it, you'll notice I just pulled another track of pink clips which are actually represented as my grading layers. The way I like to work is uh, I like to create four grading layers like that. So now I've got one, two, three, four layers on my timeline. And then the very last thing I do is uh, create an individual grading clip. And so I'm going to click this grading button here and I'm going to drag it up to my timeline up by this clip. And it just makes one grading track. But I'm going to drag the handle out across the entire timeline. And this is where we're going to start applying our speed looks. So, why did I create all of these multiple grading layers? Well, um, the way that, that we find the fastest to work is we've almost built a sandwich with our footage down here. Then generally what I'm using this layer for is uh, some vignetting or some masking. This layer up, number two, is uh, going to be my primary grade where I do most of my color correction. I'll put another mask up top here. And usually leave this top layer up here for some secondary color corrections. And then, of course, at the very top of the sandwich, this is where we apply our speed looks. So we have our timeline, and we've got our layers stacked up. Now, uh, before I actually apply my um, look for the entire scene up top here, the last thing I do is I actually, whether this is a commercial or a movie, I'll actually go through the piece and identify the separate scenes and so if I'm playing this clip down let's go back here I've got our wide shot of our guy and he's checking his phone looking for something and then we cut to an entirely different scene and so I'm gonna just step to that scene and select the grade like that and I'm gonna hit control alt s and so I've just made a cut in, in my grade. It's imagine just editing your grade, even though we haven't graded yet. I'll play the timeline now, and uh, we're still in this scene. And so now we've got a scene change. I'm just going to step back to that edit really quickly here and select my grade up top there. And again, Control Alt S. And again, we can just play this clip down. We can you know, scoot forward here. We've got another cut. Control Alt S. And we'll scoot along. We've got another scene here, and I bet you we cut back to our uh, other scene. All right, again, Control Alt S. So now, if I step through my timeline, I'm actually stepping through my timeline scene to scene. And underneath, you can see I can now step through my timeline shot to shot. So now that we've got our timeline set up, um, really the next thing is to, to start grading, to start working. And uh, that will be in our next tutorial, applying speed looks and creating your own.